Hello, uh, I am Virginia Franquera and I'm here to provide an overview of the MS MSc Cybersecurity at the University of Kent. So this is a course which provides a general broad foundation in cybersecurity. It is targeted to graduates uh, with a technical background, for example, those who have a computing related uh, undergrad degree. It is a fully certified master course recognized by the National Cybersecurity Center, part of GCHQ. It means that at the end of the course, you get two certificates, one for academic achievement signed by the University of Kent and one for successful completion of a certified master degree signed by both the National Cybersecurity Center and the University of Kent. We have, we are um, in this um, region highlighted in red in the map, as you can see, we have the only national cybersecurity certified master course across a number of counties in the Southeast region of England. The course is delivered by academics who are part of the Kent International Interdisciplinary Research Center in Cybersecurity CCS, which is one out of 19 academic centers of excellence in cybersecurity research as recognized by the National Cybersecurity Center. This is the list of mandatory modules um, a part of the MSc cybersecurity. So the cyber law module focuses on legal issues in cybersecurity, the networks and network security module focuses on foundation of networks and security protocols, the advanced network security focuses on trends and emerging security protocols, computer security module, um, covers cryptography and also AAA, so authentication, authorization and accountability. The information security management module focuses on uh, how to organize um, security management based on the ISO 27001 standard. It also covers auditing, certification, and covers human factors in cybersecurity. The advanced topics on cybersecurity is a research oriented module which um, covers. Um, research, um, state-of-the-art research in topics related to and relevant to cybersecurity. The privacy module covers um, privacy-enhanced technologies and also the soft aspect of cyber privacy. Uh, and then we have the project and dissertation module, which is uh, um, a module that where you um, underco undertake a major project in cybersecurity, supervised by an academic, and then delivers uh, a dissertation report at the end. Then you can have the um, an option, you can decide on an option module uh, based on choices. Uh, the choices are, Introduction to Digital Forensics, which provides um, a foundation um, and best practices in digital forensic investigation, secure programming, which um, not only co um, covers um, best practices in software development from a security point of view, but also how to test software in terms of security. And then the introduction to quantum computing, uh, provides um, um, focuses on quantum computation, quantum communication, and quantum cryptography. Um, it's up to you to decide to undertake an industrial placement um, during your course. Uh, this, the duration of which might be from eight to 50 weeks. And this is a great opportunity to gain experience to enrich your CV and increase your chances for uh, a job at the end. Uh, the School of Computing provides an infrastructure for practices, practicing uh, cybersecurity and uh, projects. For example, the School of Computing uh, runs a cloud infrastructure available to students. Um, we also have um, the Can't Capture the Flag platform and um, a, a different models uh, may uh, make use of it in terms of uh, challenge exercises. 
and then you have the opportunity to borrow equipment from um, a lab which is called the shed where um, it's full of IoT and interesting devices um, for you to borrow or, or use um, in there. We hope to see you in September. Thank you for listening.